Number 9. Ford Graveyard In a quiet village in the United Kingdom, an urban explorer and YouTuber came across a creepy forgotten Ford Graveyard. Apparently, the YouTuber lived close by and was exploring an abandoned bomb shelter when he caught a glimpse of something strange. After marching through a field, he came upon over 40 different Ford vehicles, cars, vans, and more, all scattered across a random stretch of land. But what makes this story a little spooky is that all the cars appear to have been burned, and it's unclear why. Even though the urban explorer had lived in the area since he was a young child, he had no idea there was a graveyard nearby full of torched vehicles. Even more disturbing was the burned-down house that he also found nearby. There's no information on the house or the cars, or why they were burned. Inside the house were personal belongings that had clearly been forgotten for quite some time. He found a notepad with fancy handwriting and other signs of education, and wondered if the person who once lived there was a teacher of some sort. The whole thing is a complete mystery, and it could be a curious part of the town's dark past. Number 8. The Albanian Submarine Base Hidden within the cliffs of Albania's coastline lies a reminder of its military history and the rapid growth in its military presence following the death of its leader and dictator Enver Hoxha. There are tens of thousands of bunkers and bases across the country, but one of the most interesting ones was found by urban explorers out in Porto Palermo. This sprawling network of concrete tunnels carved into the cliffs once served as a repair station for many of the country's submarines and torpedo ships. The seaward entrances are blocked by heavy iron doors reinforced with concrete so it's not at all easy to get inside. Once you make your way in, you can follow the maze of canals running through the underground passages, which at one point various boats and submarines would have used to get around the complex. The color of the water looks amazing, almost inviting one to swim through it. Explorers even found the rusted remains of a gantry crane suspended high on the tunnel wall, which would have been used to help service the vessels and load in ammunition for the weapons. There are multiple chambers and tunnels inside the base, including a locksmith's workshop, which still had tables and tools scattered about. One of the chambers even looks like something out of a kid's play area with colorful squares covering the ceiling and walls. Number 7. Decomposing Body An urban explorer named Paul Jones from the city of Canterbury in the United Kingdom made a grisly discovery when he wandered through the neglected house of Jackie Palo, a former wrestling star. He ventured deep into the rural property to take pictures, and right away he had a feeling he had made a horrible mistake. Paul discovered many broken down things inside the retired wrestler's crumbling house. Paul loved to take pictures of things left behind by people, and guess the stories behind it all, and was hoping to take photos of an aging grand piano and other nostalgic artifacts. Instead, he came upon a door that was barred with lengths of rope. When he tried to open it, it wouldn't budge. According to Paul himself, he was already expecting a body even before he even saw it. He managed to shove the door open as far as he could, and that was when he saw the man rotting away on the floor. It's unclear how long the dead guy had been there, or even who he was or how he had died. Paul called the police and gave them his statement. As for the owner of the decrepit house, Jackie Paolo was a famous wrestling star in the early 1960s who passed away at the age of 80 in 2006 and would never know of the decomposing body hiding in his house. Number 6. Rumu Prison, Estonia To explore Rumu Prison in Estonia, you'll have to be prepared to get a little bit wet. Initially, Rumu Prison was home to around 400 inmates, who were all forced into hard manual labor as part of their punishment. The work that they would have to do involved chiseling away at the limestone rock in the quarry that the prison was built. Both the quarry and the prison were eventually closed around the time of the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991. With nobody living there or working there, the pumps that took away the groundwater were switched off, leaving the location to be slowly swallowed up by the water. Above the surface, you can't see much, just the gray skeletons of a few buildings. However, urban explorers have found more remarkable finds under the water. They found remains of the prison structure, including iron gates and bars, and an entire network of buildings that are not even visible from the surface. You can follow the path that the prisoners and guards would have taken, down submerged stairs and past barred windows. It's quite strange to think that you can freely swim around in a place where many people were confined, and even swim over gates inmates would have loved to have been able to climb. Nowadays, the site has become more popular, not with explorers, but with people looking for a nice spot to sit and relax by the artificial lakeside. Number 5. Zombie Shark An urban explorer from France named Juliette made some disturbing yet fascinating discoveries when she ventured into an abandoned aquarium in Spain. Most of the glass from the tanks was smashed, and the water is pretty much all but gone. 
However, some of the exhibits here are far from empty. Walking through the creepy ex-tourist attraction, Juliette stumbled upon quite a few dead marine animals, seemingly left to die when the place shut down. Among the finds was a starfish and a big pink squid, its eyeballs yellowed but still in one piece. However, the most staggering find was a decomposing shark. Originally in a small tank, it's very likely that it was already dead when it was an exhibit, with its tank filled with chemicals to stop it from decaying. However, with the glass broken and the fluid drained, she was left to the elements. Due to the fact that there are likely still remnants of the chemicals on its body, the shark has started to decay very slowly, making it look a bit like a zombie shark. To add to the creepy feel, there were also other animals in jars, including the remains of further squids and a few octopuses. Suffice it to say, this is like an aquarium out of a horror movie and definitely not one for a family day out. Why do you think they were left here and not taken with the rest of the exhibits? Let us know in the comments below and hit subscribe while you're at it. Number 4. Craig House Craig House in Beacon, New York changed the game when it came to the treatment of those suffering from mental health and related illnesses. Set up by Scottish psychiatrist Clarence Slocum, the grand red brick mansion originally named Tioranda was built in 1859 and was converted from a residential building into the first private psychiatric unit spanning over 60 acres of land. Craig House first opened its doors to patients in 1915, offering its residents therapy, gourmet meals, and recreational activities such as golf and painting. Compared to other psychiatric hospitals at the time, the approach was much more humane, especially when things like lobotomies and electroshock therapy were happening elsewhere. The sanatorium had many famous residents over the years, including Zelda, the wife of famous author F. Scott Fitzgerald, Rosemary, the sister of John F. Kennedy, and the mother of Jane Fonda. Such luxury treatment came at a cost, though, and not one that many people could afford. For example, Fitzgerald found it very hard to keep up with the $750 a month payments to keep his wife there, and in the end, he had to relocate her to another institution. That might not seem like a lot now, but remember this was almost 100 years ago. It's easy to see why Craig House demanded such a luxury price tag. With grand fireplaces, oak paneling on the walls, plush leather seating, and even an organ in one of the rooms, it's clear he spared no expense. The hospital closed its doors in 1999, but since then it's remained perfectly preserved, exactly the way it was when it was open. The sanitarium is tricky to get into, but that doesn't mean urban explorers haven't snuck inside. Some have even reported that the Victorian mansion doesn't feel empty, with reports of ghost sightings, including a woman with long brown hair on one of the upper floors. The road leading to it is blocked by a big tree and concrete blockades with no trespassing signs everywhere. In 2018, the building was bought by a new owner who is currently restoring it. Number 3. Skulls in the UK In 2021, husband and wife urban explorers Danny and Felicity Duffy were exploring an abandoned pub in the Greater Manchester area of the UK when they discovered a human skull sitting out in the woods near a discarded army jacket. Danny picked it up on camera to get a better look, an action that would later receive criticism from viewers, who said it was disrespectful to disturb it. After realizing what they had found, the two called local authorities. They weren't even sure it was a real skull, and they told the police that it looked like one, but didn't know for sure. Once officers arrived at the scene and investigated, they took the object to be studied further by a forensics team. It was determined the skull was indeed very much real. As veteran explorers, this was the first time the Duffies had seen anything like this. They've since told viewers that they'll be taking a break from exploring and YouTube to recover from this traumatic experience. Number 2. The Airline Training Center Not too far from Heathrow Airport in the UK is the Crane Bank British Airways Training Center. This was the go-to location for many pilots and flight attendants to receive training to prepare them for the flights all around the world. The training center is filled with all sorts of simulation equipment, including model cockpits and cabins. However, as the site was built in the 1960s, it was also filled with asbestos, a deadly material that, if disturbed, can cause serious lung problems. This, alongside the fact that the equipment is super outdated, led to the closure of the location in 2015. Nowadays, the Crane Bank Training Center is left abandoned, which means many urban explorers have gone inside to take a look. Left inside the building is a cockpit from a Boeing 737 used as a flight simulator, various classrooms still with their desks and chairs lined up, and even a cabin still decked out with all its seating. Scavengers have stripped away anything valuable, such as copper wiring from some of the machinery, and the training models are slowly being covered in grime. 
However, it's still amazing to walk around and take a look at some aviation history. We just hope that people wore adequate protection from the asbestos. As any good flight attendant will tell you, safety first. Number 1. The Working Soviet-Era Crane Normally, when urban explorers enter a building or location, most of the stuff inside is broken and past the point of repair. However, two explorers in Poland managed to stumble upon something that still worked, and it wasn't exactly small either. While wandering through an abandoned warehouse, an urban explorer that goes by the name Shai online and her friends came across a giant crane suspended above the floor. It looked like it would have run on metal rails across the building, which would have once been used to maneuver goods around when the factory was still in operation. Of course, this intrigued the group, and they decided to head up to the crane to get a better look. Sitting over the dusty controls, they thought it was worth trying out, and amazingly, although sending a few sparks flying, the crane actually worked. What makes this truly astounding is that this warehouse was abandoned over 30 years ago, meaning that the crane and the other machinery in the building would not have been operated since then. The closing down of many industries and businesses wasn't uncommon at the time, as following the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1989, a recession took hold in the country as it tried to adapt to post-communist rule, leading to many companies folding. Shai and his pals tried a few more machines in the warehouse, including some rusty bulldozers among others, but sadly only the crane would sputter into life. Either way, it marks a truly crazy find. Thanks for watching. Which one of these discoveries really surprised you? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks again and we'll see you next time for another amazing video right here on American Eye.